If you thought the text-to-video and image-to-video features were amazing, get ready to experience a real game-changer. The groundbreaking reference-to-video technology has now entered the world of AI video generation, revolutionizing the way videos and animations are created. In this tutorial, you'll be introduced to this revolutionary feature in video AI and see how you can bring a Hollywood-level film and animation studio right into your home, without the need for expensive hardware or expertise in complex software like 3ds Max, Maya, or Blender. In this video, you'll learn step-by-step step how to animate still images, bring them to life, and create stunning videos and animations, all in the simplest way possible and in the shortest time. Are you ready? Hi everyone, my name is Iman, and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. We begin by visiting the Video AI website. To get started, we need to create a user account. Click on the sign in button located in the top right corner. You can log in using a Google account or a personal email. I prefer clicking on continue with email. Enter your email address and click next. A verification code will be sent to your email. Open your inbox, find the email, copy the code, and paste it into the verification code box. And just like that, you're logged into Video AI. Click on the home icon in the top left corner to go to the main dashboard. In the dashboard, by clicking the icon in the top right corner, you can access your profile and the logout option. Upon creating an account, you receive 80 free credits for generating videos and animations, which automatically refresh every month. If you want to explore subscription plans, click the respective button to check out the available plans. Initially, it's best to use the free plan, and if you're satisfied, you can upgrade to premium. But by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to decide whether the premium plans are worth it or not. To enter the reference to video section, click on try it now. You can also access it from the left menu on the website. In the reference to video section, you can select different versions of Video AI using the Model Selection drop-down menu in the top left corner. At the time of this tutorial's release, version 2 is the latest AI model available in Video AI. Video AI also includes an image to video section that allows you to animate static images and bring them to life. Additionally, it has a text to video feature that transforms your text based prompts into AI generated videos and animations. In this tutorial, we will focus on reference to video. This feature enables you to upload images of characters, landscapes, or other elements, and the AI will combine them based on your prompt to create a seamless animated video. Currently, you can upload up to three images. Click on Upload Image to begin. I select and upload a Spider-Man image that I generated using an AI image creator. Then, I click on Upload Image again and upload a street background. Once uploaded, their thumbnails appear on the screen. Now, it's time to enter the animation idea. I have prepared a prompt in advance and enter it into the prompt box. My idea is for Spider-Man to walk down the street and approach the camera in a low angle shot. Now, let's go into settings. Duration. In the free plan, you can select 4 seconds for the video length. The 8 second option is only available in premium plans. Resolution. In the free plan, only the speed option is available. 720p and 1080p resolutions are exclusive to premium plans. Movement amplitude. You can choose between small, medium, or large. If you want subtle movement, select small. For more dynamic animations, choose large. Selecting auto allows Video AI to determine the best movement level based on your prompt and images. Aspect ratio. You can choose between vertical, horizontal, or square. For YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok, a vertical aspect ratio is ideal. For long-form YouTube videos, a horizontal 16 to 9 aspect ratio is better. I choose 16 to 9, which is a horizontal rectangle. Amount. This determines how many videos are generated per process. In the free plan, only one video is generated at a time. But in premium plans, you can generate up to four videos per process. As you can see, the free plan is fully functional, but the premium plans offer additional benefits. After these settings, I click on the Create button. This generation deducts four tokens from my free plan balance. My request is now in the queue, and after a short wait, the video is ready. I click Play to review it. The result is not bad, but it could be better, so I delete this video. 
I click on create again. This generation also deducts 4 tokens from my free plan balance. I play the video to review it. But I'm still not satisfied. I delete this video as well. For the third time, I click on create again. Another 4 tokens are deducted. I play the video to review it. But the result is still not satisfying. So I delete it again. For the fourth time, I click on create once more. Again, for tokens are deducted. I play the video to review it. And this time, the result is absolutely amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. One thing to note is that since this video was created with the speed option under resolution settings, the quality is not ideal. However, we can enhance the quality now. If you're satisfied with the animation style and movement, now is the time to increase the video quality. To do this, I click on the HD option in the right corner of the video frame. The HD option is actually the upscale feature. Upscaling this video deducts 4 more tokens from my balance. I click confirm, and my request enters the queue. After a short wait, the video is ready. I click play to review it, and the quality is noticeably better compared to the previous version. The result is quite satisfying. When you hover over the video frame with your mouse, you'll see the download button in the bottom right corner. I download the video. By clicking on the three dot menu in the bottom right corner of the video frame, you can also access the delete option to remove the video. As I mentioned before, it's possible to upload up to three images in the reference to video section. Let's make things more exciting. I want to add another character. I click on the third upload image button and upload an image of a robot character. After the upload, the image thumbnail appears. Now, I need to describe my new scene idea to the AI. I enter a new prompt. The robot character and Spider-Man walk together on the street and approach the camera in a low-angle shot. Sounds surreal and fantastic, don't you think? With the same previous settings, I click create again. Four tokens are deducted. My request enters the queue, and after a short wait, the video is ready. I play the video to review it. I'm not happy with the result, but it could definitely be better. So, I delete this video. I click create again. Another four tokens are deducted. I play the video to review it. But I'm still not satisfied. For the third time, I click create again. Another four tokens are deducted. I play the video. But once again, I'm not happy with the result. For the fourth time, I click create once more. For more tokens are deducted. I play the video. And this time, the result is incredible. This is exactly what I wanted. With this new AI tool, creating animations and videos is like having a Hollywood studio at home. Do you agree? One thing to keep in mind is that since I'm using the free plan, this video was generated with the speed option in the resolution settings, so the quality is not perfect. However, I can increase the video quality slightly. To do this, I click on the HD option in the bottom right corner of the video frame. Upscaling this video deducts 4 more tokens from my balance. I click confirm, and after a short wait, the video is ready. I play it, and the quality has improved significantly. If you use the premium plan, you'll naturally get even higher quality videos. When you hover over the video frame, the download button appears in the bottom right corner. I download the video. The fact that AI completely understood my idea and animated the robot in my desired scene is both amazing and slightly terrifying. It gave me chills. What do you think? How far will AI go? Do you believe AI will one day dominate and control humans? As you saw in this tutorial, I managed to generate some great videos. Everything depends on your prompts and the number of attempts you make. If you write detailed, well-structured prompts and experiment multiple times, you'll definitely get excellent results. Important question. If you learned something new from this tutorial, it's time to smash the like button. New AI tutorials are coming soon, and they'll surprise you. If you want to make your learning journey even more exciting, subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. Remember, AI is the future, and it's time to embrace it. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're going to blow your mind again.